place and I restarted my live. Thank you very much for everybody that be patient with me. I do apologize about the inconvenience. So, first of all, the inflation bill was signed by, was put into law and signed by President Joe Biden. Of course, all the Democrats voted, you know, no Republicans really voted, you know, terrible, terrible. And, you know, the Republicans are going after Liz Cheney for what she said about former President Donald Trump, whose Margo Largo estate was raided by the FBI. So do apologize about that to all my Instagram followers. Thank you for being very, very patient. And how, how do you do? So thank you very much, uh, everybody that's following me, especially on IG, Latoya Crenshaw. Thank you very much, everybody. So from eight to nine, a little bit after, just going to talk about what went down. Uh, by the way, Mm, Tevin Campbell, the singer Tevin Campbell, comes out as gay. Yeah, like we didn't know like that. We didn't know no that. <laughs> like, what? and now sports, and we're going to get to that. I'm like, really, T? Really, oh, TC? Come on. Come, Come on, on Tevin. Tevin. We knew that for years, okay? Yeah. yeah. We knew it for years. News flash. It's not new. It's old news. Now you finally come out with it. Should have did that in years of just like he we just didn't found out. out. Like we like maybe you just found out. Right. We already knew. He just found out. Right, he just found out. We already knew what it was. <laughs> Calm down with that. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I swear to God, sometimes it's like, you know, stupid people tricks for real. I ain't gonna talk to you. I'm, I'm like, shout out to Kevin MC Chill Heard. <laughs> if you're listening, Chill, you know, your interviews with Tevin Campbell are nothing short of legendary. Uh, yeah. So we knew that already. But let's talk about, before we, <laughs> I start cracking up. You know, I, I'm i sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean, you know, like, this is not. Uh, so everybody that's, um, this weekend is a big weekend for back to school. Uh, this weekend is a, Big weekend for back to school, people going back to school, things of that nature. This weekend is a weekend where uh, there are some giveaways. Um, there's going to be a giveaway on 116th and Buckeye. There's going to be a, a couple of giveaways, a couple of things going on. The Browns uh, will be playing their first preseason game at Cleveland Browns. Well, first energy stadium against the Philadelphia Eagles, which brings me to the quarterback situation. All right. By the way, this um, show is sponsored by the Adams Board. If you are feeling an overdose or mental illness, please call the Adams Board, period. And look them up online at www.adamsboard.com or Oregon. Deshaun Watson, the Cleveland Browns quarterback that was uh, traded, that was, you know, pretty much former Houston Texans quarterback. We all know about the 24 accusers of the women that accused him of sexual misconduct, the massages and everything else like that. This has been going on for ages. Um, Judge Sue Robinson, Sue L. Robinson ruled that Deshaun Watson needed to be suspended for six games with no fine. But she also said that his actions were unculpable and damaging. After Deshaun Watson apologized to all the women, um, pretty much who support the National Football League and Around the world, the NFL handed down after the NFL and the NFLPA, that's the NFL and the NFL Players Association, so the suspension is higher. It's 11 games. And the fine is $5 million. Of course, Deshaun Watson signed for that $230 million contract, which was guaranteed. I'm sure to the light of some Steelers fans or other people, or other NFL fans that would be happy. By the way, the NFL season is 17 games, so he will be eligible to play. And his first uh, eligible to play in his 12th game. And guess who the 12 games against? No, not the Steelers. No, that's the last game of the season. And for this season, for the 2022, 2023 season. But the Houston Texans, Deshaun Watson's former team. Now, I don't want to say that it's a coincidence. If you were going to double the suspension and fine him 12 games, 10, like a lot of people wanted him banned for life. I don't think that was going to happen. 
But if you're going to fine and suspend him for six games, shouldn't it be 12 games, $10 million? Hmm. Why did the National Football League, the NFL, make his first game back against the Houston Texans? Money. That is going to be one of the highest revenge to uh, comeback games in the season. This is will be his first game under center as the starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns against the Houston Texans. Now we know the Carabao uh, week one, the Carolina Panthers, Baker Mayfield is expected to win that starting job over Sam Darnold. Yeah, that's the quarterback room in the Carolina Panthers was an expert in futility. So why did the International Football League decide that the Houston Texans game would be the perfect game for Deshaun Watson to come back to. Hostile crowd, things of that nature. Is he going to be ready? Will he be under pressure? Listen, suspensions, fines, it was never going to be enough for, and I'm, and the thing about it is like the women are victims here. I understand that with the massage women are victims here. and But he was never charged with the criminal crime, but the civil cases will be settled by the time he gets on the field or like early in this, this season. I'm not condoning what Deshaun Watson did. I think he's a little pervert. You know, my opinion, like he did some perverted stuff. He'll go undergo counseling throughout the course of the NFL season and he's going to pay a $5 million fine to the charity. I guess the NFL will choose a charity. Yeah, the charity is going to be in the NFL's pockets. That's where the charity. Well, we're going to give it to the March of Dimes. How about you give the $5 million can go to the Women's Rape Crisis Center here in Cleveland. $5 million can go to Domestic Violence Awareness Month. The $5 million can go to any charity that benefits women and children. That's where the That's where that money should go to. Who decides on the, the NFL decided on the fine. So we'll see what the NFL does with that money. Now, if they donated to a women, to a, to the women's rape crisis center here in Cleveland, Ohio, that would be the best thing to do. That would be the greatest thing to do to show that true, um, Deshaun Watson, who is truly sorry for his actions for what he's done. Even though he claims he didn't do anything wrong, is uh, inappropriate best, inappropriate at best. You know, creepy and cringy, yeah, at best. But the Houston Texans? Let me see if the NFL cares about women. No, they don't. We can stop that. You can stop lying because the money that they're going to generate from the viewership, wherever you're going, like you're going to watch Deshaun Watson, whether you're going to boo him or cheer him. They're going to, people are going to watch to see what this, what's going to happen. Don't be surprised if this, if the Houston Texans and the Cleveland Browns game with Deshaun Watson coming back to Houston is not on prime time, no matter what the records are for both teams. Let me, let me say this for the people in the back. Do not be surprised if this game is moved to prime time. So that'll be the only game. Everybody's looking for this game. Everybody's looking for this game. Watch it be moved. If it was a one o'clock game, watch it be moved to eight o'clock to bump off something else. If it's not moved, then it'll be the the most anticipated. Like like week twelve, we already know where the playoff standings and people are and how they're going to do it. But watch this watch this game be moved despite the record. Now if the record. Like, that means there's 11 games that the Browns are going to have to go through with Jacoby Brissett as the starter. That's why they brought in Dobbs and Rosen. Josh Rosen, who was picked in 2018, the number one draft pick of the Arizona Cardinals, who washed out in Carolina, who washed out somewhere else, who was out the football, out of football until the Browns called him and said, hey, we need you to come in to be the third string quarterback until Deshaun Watson returns because he's not playing. He's not playing. Deshaun Watson is not playing. So he's going to pretty much, he's not going to, he's not playing in those games. So the quarterback room is Jacoby Brissett, 
Josh Dobbs, who was from the Steelers, and he did a wonderful job in preseason. By the way, the Browns won their preseason game against Jacksonville, despite a poor showing from Deshaun Watson. Um, and Josh Rosen. Jacoby, Jacoby, Josh, and Josh. So the three J's. Of course, our owner's name is Jimmy Haslam, who got us into this mess in the first place. So the three J's are going to be taking over the quarterback room. and But there's two African-American quarterbacks who are going to get denied. I just say bring Colin Kaepernick back, for real. If, if, if I'm Cleveland to, to, like, we already pissed the NFL off with Deshaun Watson giving them $230 million. Why don't we just go full? Jimmy, if you're listening, Mr. Haslam, why don't you just go full bore and just really just make everybody mad and bring it back Colin Kaepernick? Just do that. What's up, Angelo? Hey, Cher. Hey, Alisa. Um, <laughs> why don't we just bring, why don't we just go ahead and bring Colin? Just just put, pick him up. Why don't we do that? But the National Football League doesn't care about women. So, and of course, the reason I'm playing OJ is the backstabbers because the NFL just did a backstabbing move for real, not to Deshaun Watson, but to the women. Period. So. We're about to go off. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about weed in the DoorDash delivery. We'll be right back on Hair Lives Headaches. 